everyone, welcome back. Forgive my tardiness on YouTube. Um, I have had so much work on, you have no idea. So my apologies for my, uh, you know, my absence on, on YouTube. Um, I'm going to try and make up for it a little bit with some videos coming up because I'm obviously working on a lot of stuff. Right just now I've got a couple of days that I've got a little bit of free time so I thought why not just chuck in a couple of videos and uh, let's get back into the, the groove as they say. So what I want to talk to you today about is we have um, this project here in front of us and how I do my snare reverbs has changed a little bit over the years um, and I want to talk to you today about a little technique that I'm doing now. What I've done we have our snare top here, which we'll play. Okay, so what I've done is I've duplicated that track, which is this one, which I'll let you hear. Now what I've done is I've copied that snare track and usually one of uh, Reaper's amazing action things pitch items down one semitone um, you can find that in the actions list show actions list um, and then go and look for that action which is uh, item properties pitch item down one semitone there we are so we can click on that to our heart's content now I've pitched it down uh, it, it indicates here if you look at the information on the track here it says pitch minus three which means I've pitched it down three semitones because I clicked that three times okay so that's what I've pitched it down at then what I'm doing is I'm sending that out to via my send to a, a snare verb so let's have a look at our snare verb which is up here and I'm using Valhalla Room because it's a nice room sound. And then I've chucked on that new version of ReEQ. I've cut off some highs and lows. And I cut out some frequencies that were really niggling me that when you listen to it on its own, it was quite annoying. And that was that. So if we play it, what you have is... I'll put in the re reverb. Now, what I'm going to do, take this out so you can't, you only can hear the reverb. This is the whole point. Now, what you do, what happens with this is, you get, because this is pitched lower, you're getting that kind of, the low mid frequencies of the, 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 the reverb coming through, where the, the high mid stuff of the actual snare is untouched. So, if we play it all together, That's just the, the snare on its own. Now with this pitch down reverb version. Yeah, works like a dream. So little tip there guys. Hope that's useful, hope it's helpful and glad to be back. I hope to see you in many more videos. Um, so. Yeah, nice to be back doing some videos. Uh, nice to hopefully see some response and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers guys. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, all the rest of it.